this is the week. That's the worst one. Worst ones are from Pakistan. I don't know where this is from. Okay. The, the biggest problem with it is the neck guard. It cones on your chest and will slide right up into the pit of your throat. That's why in weak half competition they don't allow a stab. The next thing wrong with the throat guard is this ends up separating and coming off and you have to replace it with something. Okay. So the face cage is good for sticks, but not proof against a stab with a thin stick. And this can be exasperated by this. Since most people land forehands that tend to be downward, mm -hmm. you'll end up with separation in the bar there. Okay, so no admittance here for a thin stick, but it'll slide right through there. And of course for blades, this is completely inappropriate for blades, okay, because it'll go right through. The back is soft, and you know the stick will go right through. So you got to be careful with back of the head hits. The, the spinal guard, I really think. The thing about it is the top of the head, mm -hmm. the ridge of the forehead, and the ear. This has got the best ear protection. Uh, the problem with our hockey-based helmets are poor ear protection. Okay, it's. Good for gear swabs that don't have to maintain their gear. Okay, it's real easy to maintain. Okay.